Immunotherapy has been tremendously effective so far in the 10 years that it's been deployed and that brings a lot of hope to the whole field of cancer therapy. The immune system is the main system that controls tumors. Immuno-oncology comes in to take those inhibitory signals that the tumor cells put up to evade the immune system away again we can begin to classify cancers in a completely different way based not only on the histology and the molecular composition of the cancer itself but also of the immune cells that it attracts. It allows us to select therapies much more accurately. Immunotherapy is amazing and it works miracles in individual patients however it doesn't work in all patients so we are now trying to understand how we can expand that first-generation immunotherapy and make it work in more people. Immunotherapies don't come without some kind of toxicity. So if we can find out what the difference is, then we might be able to engineer out the bad immunity and, and hang on to the therapeutic immunity. Oxford is a fantastic research environment. It brings together the best scientists from around the globe. We're very good at bringing together different disciplines to focus on specific challenges. We work very closely with a lot of collaborators across Oxford in industry and in academia. The cutting edge technology that we're using now to profile tumour antigen landscapes, I've learned here in Oxford. Science alone is not going to bring about patient benefits. We need to work very closely with our clinical colleagues and also with the patients themselves to make sure that the questions that we're addressing are focused and they're relevant to patient care. There is high hope that over the next few years and decades we make large steps forward for cancer treatment.